G'day and welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Cheesecakes are one of the most famous desserts the world around. So join me today as I make the world famous New York style cheesecake. Okay, now to start off with, we're going to get some nice, uh, some just any biscuits that you like. These are just some sweet biscuits I picked up at the supermarket. I'm just going to put these into the food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor, just put them into a Ziploc, a Ziploc bag and bash them silly with a rolling pin, just till they're nice and fine. So, I'm just going to process these through. Okay, so once done, just place it straight into a bowl. Now this is the consistency you're after, it's just very fine and crummy. Okay, next you're going to pour in your melted butter. Now I've just melted this in the microwave. And we're just going to stir this through until it's nice and combined. Okay, now I've got a spring form pan here that I've just lined the bottom off with baking paper, also referred to as parchment paper. Now we're just going to transfer the mix straight in. Now just using the base of a cup, just spread it around and just push it down so it's nice and firm. And once you get the base done, start working on the sides. Okay, so that's all done. And notice I've done the sides as well. I've just left about a centimeter centimeter gap from the top just like that so the next thing you want to do is just cover it with some glad wrap just like this just so it's not exposed to any air it's going to cover it just like this and we're going to place this into the fridge for about half an hour to set just so it comes up nice and hard okay next onto a mixing bowl i've placed our cream cheese now it's very important i can't stress this enough that it's at room temperature if you have it cold and put it into the oven it will cause the top of the cheesecake to crack. So having it at room temperature will help prevent it, if not minimize it. So into that, I'm gonna place our caster sugar, also referred to as super fine sugar, and then our lemon rind. Now we're just gonna beat this until it's well combined. Okay, next we're gonna sift through our flour. and our vanilla extract and give it another quick beat just to combine the ingredients okay next we're going to start cracking out our eggs now I want you to do one at a time so you're going to crack one in then you're going to mix it then you're going to crack in the next one then you're going to mix it through and so forth the reason why we do it this way is because it will also help sorry prevent the cheesecake from cracking while cooking so just make sure it's completely combined all the way through, then start on the next egg. And lastly, we're going to put in our sour cream. So just put it straight in there, just like that. And just give it a quick 10 second beat, just like this, just to combine it. Okay, so I've just pulled the base out of the fridge after half an hour. I'm going to grab a mix. Now it's just a simple matter of pouring it straight in. It's looking fantastic already. Okay, so we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius for about an hour and a half until it's just set in the center. Once it's cooked after an hour and a half, don't take it out. Just open the oven door slightly, just so it's slightly ajar like so, and let it cool for another two hours. This will help minimize and hopefully prevent any cracking on the top of the cheesecake. Okay, so I've just pulled this out of the oven after two hour cooling time and it's looking pretty damn good. Now, it's a little brown on the outside here, that's that's nothing to worry about. Just that's only the very very edge of so can just do a quick just a quick slice just on the top and it'll come out perfect. So once it's been out of the oven now, what we're gonna do is place it into the fridge for about four hours or overnight just to completely set and it'll be perfect and ready to go. Okay, so this has been in the fridge for four hours now. Now I've just cut the uh, raised bits just on the outside here, just for looks. It wasn't burnt, <laughs> I actually had some and it actually tastes pretty damn good. Now before we serve it up, I'm just going to give it a quick dressing. Now I've just got some raspberries here, and we're just going to 
evenly put these just on top just for that extra look and it adds a bit of taste to it as well now let's give this a try oh yeah Oh, that's fantastic. I've had New York style cheesecake before, but that's just fantastic. There's nothing better than a homemade New York style, style cheesecake. That truly is delish. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. Be sure to show me some love by giving me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.